What's up guys, Eddie here, and today we are talking about backpack body armor. Backpack body armor has to be one of the most overlooked aspects of everyday carry. In today's day and age with hyped up Instagram gun flexing, the focus is now on active self-protection and not passive self-protection. Today I'm going to focus on passive self-protection and the role and effectiveness of body armor. The role of body armor is simple, to stop bullets coming towards you. Body armor is constantly overlooked in EDC. Most people question why they'd want to burden themselves with the bulletproof inserts. A lot of people that everyday carry tend to focus on the hero aspect of everyday carry, and less on the victim aspects. Nobody wants to get shot, and definitely no one wants to get shot in the back unknowingly. Your tactical elitist will probably say, I don't intend on getting shot in the back, so why would I prepare for that? Okay, maybe that was an exaggeration, but hopefully with this video, I can convince you guys that if you carry a gun, you should also carry body armor. Backpack body armor is exceptionally practical and usable. It is impossible to make an argument against the concept. Backpack armor can be easily and seamlessly integrated with your everyday carry system. The Safe Life Defense backpack panel measures 11 by 14 inches, weighs 1.3 pounds, and is half an inch thick. The Safe Life panel is made out of their proprietary para aramid material and is flexible and is able to contour it to your back. For size comparison, here is the panel next to a 13 inch MacBook. It integrates so seamlessly into your backpack that you'll forget about it and not realize it's there or until you need it. Everyone that EDCs a firearm is concerned about concealability. Even with the slightest amount of printing, be prepared to get roasted online. This is not a concern with backpack armor panels. It's invisible to the outside and impossible to notice. Even with the backpack open, the panel looks like a laptop case and does not raise any suspicions. The effectiveness of a backpack armor panel is dependent on the rating of the panel. If you want maximum protection, you could use a ceramic steel or polyethylene armor, but it would be either too bulky or too heavy. The Safe Life panel is a 3A panel and is a happy medium for me. It's lightweight, sleek, and integrates seamlessly into my system, if I haven't said that enough times already. We did test the armor just for kicks. We shot a 9mm, 45, and 12 gauge slug. With the 9mm, there was some minor back face deformation. It was extremely minimal and nothing to be concerned about. With the 45, it was slightly more, but still nothing to be concerned with. We knew on paper it could stop a 12 gauge rifled slug but we're skeptical because of how much energy those actually have. I'll preface my next statement by telling you guys that high velocity rifle rounds will go straight through a 3A panel. Manufacturers do not advertise that it can stop rifle rounds and you should definitely not expect it to stop rifle calibers. At 3,000 foot pounds, it has more energy than a 30-06. However, a 308 or a 30-06 will go straight through a level 3A panel. Don't expect this to stop a 308 or a 556. Oh my God. In the future, I hope to test more panels with oddball calibers such as 500 Smith & Wesson, 3030, 4570, and other massive slow-moving projectiles. There was an incredible amount of back face deformation with the 12 gauge rifled slug, the equivalent of a baseball protruding from the back of the panel. Backpack body armor adds an additional level of protection to yourself without you even realizing it. Its seamless integratability makes it difficult to argue against it and its $100 price tag makes it extremely affordable. This video was made possible by Safe Life Defense. They offer body armor solutions, and please check them out in the description box down below if you're interested in body armor options. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you're around there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys hopefully soon. And I'll make another video.